I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Midday Market Update. We've got a little bit of a mixed market right now. we got our NASDAQ and the S&P 500 up, but the Dow eh, down just a tad. I am joined by Peter Costa. So let's talk about what we're seeing today. You know, we had a nice sell-off yesterday, but we did not see that much carry-through to today. And that, that seems like a positive thing. Yeah, it is a positive thing. I think it's, it's an expectation uh, you know, to have that sell off and then have a continuation is this the beginning of that that mini correction everyone's been calling for. And you know what? What it looked what it turned out to be is a buying opportunity. So you had the market sell off. People looked at some stocks, they re you know, they reevaluated where they wanted to buy and they started to buy it today. Yeah, we've had so many traders come out with these, you know, Hindenburg thing and you name it, all these various things that are telling them we're gonna have this big correction. We really haven't seen it. Do you think we are still setting up for some type of big correction? No, I, I mean, you know, they, to me, the blimp is still in the hangar right now. I think, you know, they can tell you that there's this Hindenburg correction or whatever that nonsense is. Yeah, we might see a 5 or 10% move. I don't think you're going to see a 10%. I think a 5% move on the downside would be totally understandable considering where we came from. And, uh, you know, you have a, a, a bull market that's lasted this long. <clears throat> Not a problem to have a little bit of a... a sell off have some the market come back a little bit not really that wouldn't worry me at all i mean i'm longer term you look you know you look two months out maybe you look at one thing but i look at six months to a year to three years and have it come in five percent that's a buying opportunity you know and we've seen that every time we have had any kind of a little bit of a pullback we have seen buying come in listen you know volume's low it's the end of summer you know we we would expect to see some volatility are you guys positioning yourself at all for the end of the month or are you just kind of laying low laying low there isn't every one of our accounts has been they've been almost stagnant and it's you know it, it's typical of this time of year especially the last two weeks of august um they you know they've made a lot of money you know going into this period the only thing is they don't want to miss something if it really does turn over. And, you know, there are guys waiting for that to happen, but they, there's not one person I've spoken to thinks it's actually going to happen where there's a major turnover. So, you know, we're just, these guys are laying low. We're laying low. You know what? We have another two quarters to go through with earnings, uh, you know, see where the tapering goes. You know, there's a lot of pretty strong uh, headwinds coming up. But you know what? I think the economy is getting better. I think, you know, we see the housing numbers. You see a lot of these different numbers. They're all improving. Not great, but they are improving. So it's better than having, you know, not. And having Europe also is becoming a, a much more viable option as far as investing. And some of the companies there are starting to do very well. So, you know, that's a good sign, too. All right. Well, it is Friday in the summer in August here at the Stock Exchange. Things are a little quiet. But uh, we'll check the markets again. And, yeah, it's, it's just barely up a little bit. And that's Peter Costas from Empire Executions. And I'm Deborah Borchardt with The Street.